Good evening, warriors. We are getting ready to go into week four. Week four. So this week, your discussion question will be based on your research. Explain what were successful industries for black people. Also discuss the challenges business owners faced. And finally, what happened economically to blacks who remained in the Deep South? So you have a twofold question. I want you to talk about black industry entrepreneurship around the late 1800s. Now, we know about Carnegie. We know about um, Ford and Vanderbilt. Were there any black entrepreneurs? And if you um, will look into your content for this week, week four, um, I gave you some individuals I wanted you to research and to do your own. So it's chapter 12 for those who have the textbook, Entrepreneurship and the Black Community. I gave you Charles A. Patterson, Annie Malone, Junis Groves, and then I gave you a clip on sharecropping. What exactly was sharecropping in the Deep South? So make sure you look at those resources I gave you. I even threw in Marcus Garvey, but I would like for you to find some obscure individuals. You can go to your textbook if you don't have the textbook. Uh, you can use Smithsonian website with the African American History, History and Cultural Museum. So um, that's what we're talking about, entrepreneurship and the black community. Uh, so many times we look at our status in America and we say we don't have, we don't have. But I want us to look at the times we did have and think about what we will do. Some of you will be entrepreneurs. Some of you have classmates who will be entrepreneurs. So I thought this would be an interesting topic to look at. Brothers, many of you did what you needed to do. I appreciate that you got your post done on time. So thank you for getting your post done on time. And I responded to you. So I want you to get in a habit of not just posting and forgetting about the class, but checking back throughout the week. Like I said, this is a continuous conversation. So I guess now, let's see, it's almost 8 o'clock Sunday, so I'm sure you will go in and post. All right, so I get you to go in Wednesday and I get you to go in Sunday. But if we could aim to have a few more conversations throughout the week. Uh, Mr. Whips, I know that you are having some challenges there in Jackson, Mississippi. I did see what was going on um, there in the news. I pray you and your family are well. Uh, anyone else who had trouble during this past week with these storms, I also pray that you are faring well, that you're getting back on your feet. You have an extra credit opportunity. So I am inviting you to be a part of a discussion it's going to take place this coming Saturday at 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. Should all black people be Democrats? And um, it will have a panel. I'm going to bring in a historical part. I have a Spelman grad and a Morehouse grad who are a married couple. Yet they see they have pol differing political opinions and um, they have some very enlightening conversations. I would love for you to tune in. And also I will have a guest panelist who worked in government, federal government, um, with a politician and he has insight. So I think it will be very enlightening. What I'm going to do, I'm going to offer a series of conversations, probably quarterly, because as black people, we got to engage on a deeper intellectual level. I know we love entertainment. I know we love movies, but I do think it's time for us to have discourse, conversation. And I am fortunate because of my vast network to have been around all types of people who can bring in some very insightful and robust and enriching intellectual conversation. Go to Eventbrite, uh, get your ticket. Um, it is a free event, so don't worry about donation. We'll talk about that when you graduate and you're making good money. But right now, I just want you to come. And if you come and you listen and you give me a two-paragraph summary of what you learned or what you heard or what you agree, what you don't agree with, I'll give you extra credit towards your midterm. Your midterm will be a five to six page paper on one of the turn of the century titans, whether it's Rockefeller, um, whether it is Vanderbilt or J.P. Morgan. One of those guys who was a, a, a magnet 
Carnegie, one of those guys, because I do want us to see that America is the land of opportunity. However, it wasn't the same for everyone. Now, we're going to contrast what was happening in the 1890s with what African Americans are just getting access to. And I think that will enrich our understanding of what we talk about with the black experience. If you have not posted yet in this class and you are having problems with logging on, or you're having problems understanding what you're supposed to do, I need to hear from you this week. I need to hear from you this week. Um, by Wednesday, if you have not participated, I will communicate with the college to let them know you probably need to be withdrawn. So uh, maybe I'm talking to guys who've already moved on. If you know people who are supposed to be in this class, and they are not participating, let them know they have until Wednesday to get in contact with me. Gentlemen, last week of Black History Month, I pray that you will attend our activity on Saturday. Pray you will continue to do well, post, and let's have some great conversation this week. And everyone stay safe.